a holiday break, and uh, we're talking about the livestock trade now in this segment here. Our special guest in Chicago is Todd Horwitz, Todd Bubba Horwitz. He has a website called BubbaTrading.com. It's awesome. You need to check it out. All kinds of great information on there. All right, we covered the grain markets. Uh, something that uh, makes you almost lose your lunch if you're a producer out there. <laughs> but if you look at the livestock trade, you know, we started out looking pretty good here, Todd, in the early going. The first few minutes of trade, everything looked fairly rosy. You know, we had a, a bad close on Friday. Everything was down hard on the nearby contracts. But, um, boy, the grain markets fell out of bed, and now it didn't take very long, just a few minutes, and we had the cattle complex going lower. We have August down a buck 63 on live cattle right now. 111.35 is your last trade, and that's two and a half bucks off our earlier high. October down $1.70 at 111.58. Feeders have also felt the pressure today. You would think with the washout in the corn market, you'd have a better feeder cattle market, but not today. August down $1.85 at 140.60. September down $1.95 at 139.75, and that's 60 cents off of its low. It was two and a half bucks lower. So, Todd, what's the deal here with this cattle market? Well, I, I think you, you, you reach levels, and I think this is something that's great to talk about here is, is price points and, and where the, the price discovery is going to take place. We've got some outside influences that are forcing pressure on markets globally and every market. There, there's no market that is safe at this particular moment unless it's precious metals or bonds. So what we're seeing now is, A, a little bit of a pullback. Remember, we, we got up to feeders to about 145, which was a target price that we had a little pull up. Now we're coming back to 140. I think at 140, that's an area that you want to start to step in again. Those, these are charts are starting to turn over and look much more bullish. So I don't expect the selling to accelerate much here. Live cattle looks like, I thought, 111 to 112. Well, we're right in the middle here. I think this is another area. You know, remember, we had that, that panic low. I won't use the other word again. We had that panic low. It took Ipecac, but down to a 109. Now we're coming back up. So I think these are building stair-step approach, and we're getting a much stronger market underneath the surface, which is when you're, when you're an owner, a farmer, producer, or you're buying for the longer term, you want that stronger base being built, not those wild up and down markets. I think what we're seeing is some natural selling under markets that are under a little pressure, and they'll sort themselves out, and we'll get back to some fundamental data, but markets trade off of price and off of technicals first, and then we sort out the fundamentals later. So I think we're building some, some support here, and these are no surprise that these are probably pretty good levels to step in and buy both feeder and fats. Todd, I'm glad we had a chance to have you on today. Uh, it's a critical day in the markets. It could be a big turning point, uh, if not today, coming very soon. So we'll have to watch things very closely. If uh, everybody has a financial advisor or a market advisor, I would uh, tell them to really stay in close touch today. If they don't have one, maybe they can get in touch with you. Todd Bubba Horowitz with BubbaTrading.com. Thanks for the help, and I'll talk to you again soon, Todd. Thanks, Marlon. Have a great day. All right. Reviewing the lean hog trade.